Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video is another weekly reading vlog. I'm actually starting this off on a Friday, so I did not film a weekly reading vlog this past week. I simply just didn't have the capacity for it. I was filming my powerless reading vlog though, so I was filming a little bit every day, but not like the same commitment level that is needed for a weekly reading vlog. Just with personal stuff and work this past week, it was very like heavy and hectic and exhausting. But I woke up this morning, so today's Friday, but it's kind of like my Sunday I have today off of work and I was like I want to start the reading vlog now like I just finally feel like mentally sound and clear that I was like I don't want to wait until the next week like next Sunday or Monday I'm like I just want to start it now I feel like the next week overall is going to be so fun that I was like let's just get it going today's going to be a great day this weekend's going to be great it's the Super Bowl I'm going to be having like a Galentine's thing as well like I'm just excited so I just wanted to hop on obviously get this started I think it's a little after 11.30 and I do have a nail appointment at noon. Honestly, far away, they don't look that bad, but up close you can definitely see the like five week growth, which is not as bad as my toes because my toes haven't been done in like over two months and they have this Christmas red on them. It's been yelling at me, okay? Yelling. So we're getting both of them done today. So I was eating some food before I headed out. I'm feeling very like dainty girly ballerina today. I don't know how to describe it other than that aesthetic and I'm thinking I wanted to get pink on my nails anyways so I feel like getting like a little pink drink and like getting pink on my nails will just make me feel good today and that's what we're going for. So I think we should just head out get the nails done and when we get back I can kind of talk with you a little more on like what book I want to start today and update on my reading journal because I kind of still need to update that since we last talked embarrassing I don't want to talk about it I told you guys it's been a week so let's go ahead and go get my nails done and of course I'm seated right in the same spot but guys that nail appointment was everything I needed and more especially after the week I had I was just like I need a moment of dedicated self-care and that's exactly what I had just like an hour and a half of relaxation getting my nails done I love this color too I don't know how easy it is to see it probably have to show you tomorrow in direct sunlight but there are sparkles in the pink and they're stunning and then on my toes I got this like white tan color because after the red I was like no I need like a nude color because my girl was like do you want the pink sparkles on your toes and I was like that's too much I can't handle that so I was like I need something like so like non-noticeable so I'm no longer afraid to wear sandals out in public again which I love because the temperature is warming up over the last like week or so and I was like I can't go out in sandals in public. Like I can't show my toes in public right now. So that feels good. I don't know, I just really love that. It was just a good moment of self care. Okay, now that we're done with the nail appointment, I wanted to give you guys a little reading update. So I've talked about this before, but if I'm reading a book for a video, I love when I have a second book that I can read alongside that for just me, myself, and I, and I don't have to think about filming that process. So I finished my non-video book yesterday, which means I have a new one to pick out today. I'm still reading Aka War for a video, so this will be like that second book I'm reading alongside that. So today I am starting Ninth House. This was a part of the polls that I posted at the beginning of the month. It was a part of my January wrap up February TBR video, which I had so much fun making. So please check it out if you haven't. But I'm excited to dive into this. So this had been a part of my wish list for like honestly several months and I got it for Christmas. It was one of the things where I opened it and I was like, okay, I know I really wanna read this, but why can't I remember what the heck this is about? So I read the back and I was like, girl, how have you not read this sooner? Cause this sounds so good. I think it beat the secret history in the poll, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this today. I did not prioritize journaling this past week like I should have and probably needed to, so this is my emotionary and I definitely want to get back in the habit of it, so I want to do that today, but I'm thinking right now, I want to just throw on some booktube videos. I haven't caught up on Olivia Reads a Latte's like last three videos and she's my favorite booktuber, so I want to do that while I finish my February reading spreads. So I think in my last like weekly reading vlog, we made the first two pages together, so these turn 
started out so cute just the cover page and then a page tracker and then the last page I need to make is for the like reading log my stats my TBR so it's just like this final page so I feel like that's the perfect way to spend like the rest of my day off is just sit here let my like creative crafty juices flow and watch my favorite booktuber <laughs> You and I, we met a Tuesday morning, sun high in the sky, and I fell. Okay, I feel like I'm at a stopping point. I may ultimately add more, but this is like good for me to at least have the spreads made so I can utilize them. So once again, this is what the cover looks like. This is what the page tracker page looks like. I think I just want to leave this blank for now. I don't really know what I would put in it so maybe something will spark my interest and then this is very empty but this is that final page so it's my reading log then some stats and I'll fill out my TBR so there is that hopefully that focused so obviously it's blank I have to fill in the books that I've already read and then I need to fill out the TBR that I talked about obviously in the video so I just want to show you guys it blank and then I will fill this out and then you guys will ultimately see it again, maybe throughout the month, or maybe just at the end when I do like my February wrap up and March TBR, which is just insane to think about. I'm not gonna think about that. I'm gonna continue watching Olivia's video and fill this out. You guys, look how cute this is. I also added in this dedication. I've seen it before, but it's like I figured it was perfect to add right there. And I've already began to fill stuff out. I love it. So I need to finish editing my weekly reading vlog that theoretically should have went up today. But with the week I had, I was not going to push myself to finish editing it last night up until like 2 a.m. or something. So I just posted on my community tab like, hey, no video today, but it's coming tomorrow. So I need to finish editing it. So I sit down and I'm thinking like, I'm a little like drowsy. So maybe I should make an iced coffee. I get out everything for it. And then I go to get the ice and I'm like, where's my ice because keep in mind my like ice maker on my actual fridge doesn't work I still need to tell my landlord people about it but I use like an ice cube tray I put it back in the fridge the last time I used it mm -hmm. yeah so no ice currently so I can't have the iced coffee which kind of sucks but I figured I'll just have my Alani like I talked about before I was just kind of in the mood for iced coffee so it like sucks a little bit so I just figured I will sip on this as I get to editing. I just thought it was so funny. I was like, where could this have been? And then like something just hit me that I was like, okay, it's not on the counter and it's not in the freezer. I bet you it's in the fridge. And I just open it and I'm like, you're joking. But how come I've also been in the fridge several times since like I last had to use the ice tray and I never noticed that it was sitting there? I don't know, but I'm going to get to editing. I'm going to continue watching some of Olivia's videos and... Hopefully just knock this out. I've already like started it, so it usually doesn't take me too long because I make the edits pretty chill on the weekly reading vlogs. Like I just cut a lot of stuff out. I don't know, add some text occasionally, but it's not crazy editing. So I just need to go through because my raw footage was like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, and I'm like, queen, shut up. <laughs> Stop talking so much. I say that as my little update about my ice tray is now like a two minute clip, but there's that. I will update you guys. I'm probably not until tomorrow, so I plan to edit and then um, read some of Ninth House when I go to bed. So hopefully I have a reading update for you guys in the morning. Of you and of all. 
all I should have done. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I think it's still the morning, right? Oh my god, it's only 1030. That blows my mind. I've had such a productive morning. I just would have assumed it was later into the day, but I did like naturally wake up at like 6.30, 6.45 this morning, and I was so pleasantly surprised that I woke up like rested, ready to tackle a day because I knew I had to get up early, so I had an alarm set, but I was just surprised. Like I woke up on my own before it, and like I felt rested, ready to go. So I just like got out of bed. I changed out of like PJs into another just comfy set, but it's just something like a mental shift of like, change out of what you wore to bed into something else for the day and then obviously I did a little bit of makeup. I also listened to music when I got ready this morning which just I don't know it was just such a good like start to my morning and then I came out here and I knew the first thing I needed to do was work on my video that I needed to go live today so I exported overnight. It was an hour and 16 minute reading vlog like a weekly reading vlog. How did I do that? How did I do that? I have no idea. So it's my longest weekly reading vlog yet. So that exported overnight, so I needed to upload to YouTube so it could go live by 9 a.m. And I was able to do that. I also had to make the like thumbnail for that, so that was successful. And then I had to do my work stuff. So I work on the weekends to help cover stuff for my job. So I just checked on everything I need to check on first thing before I did anything else. So it was just like such a productive four hours. But guys, get this. Last night, I was like laying in bed and I was thinking of everything I need to get done this weekend. It was just like a bunch of random little things I don't normally do. So I was like, okay, make a to-do list on your notes app queen of to-do list. I love them. So I made like a big long list and so now I'm thinking okay I hit the stopping point let me go check stuff off my to-do list but I didn't add any of the stuff that I need to do like first thing this morning because they weren't like completely random things that I thought I'd forget so that's why I didn't add them but I was like oh my gosh so you know what I did to make myself like feel good I added those things to my to-do list so that I could check them off so it was just like a mood booster but I feel great. But yeah, I have like a laundry list of things to do. So we'll see how that goes over the weekend. But I wanted to obviously start today, say hello, and I have a reading update for you guys. So I did go ahead and I started Ninth House last night. I read the prologue in chapter one, which was about 30 pages. Okay, guys. So this is Dark Academia. This is not a genre like I typically read. It's been a while since I've read something like this. So I'm not like super familiar. It's definitely harder for me to probably like just jump into a book like this. I don't know what it was. But I just found myself not like really feeling interested in what was going on. I wasn't really following what was going on. And I don't know if it's because it was later in the evening. If it's just not the genre I typically read. So it's like harder for me to get into to begin with. But... I feel like I don't want to DNF this, but I think it's just like where I'm at today. I don't want to continue reading this today. I think I want to shift gears and start on Icebreaker. This was not a book on my February TBR, but it's one that I had the like audiobook on hold from Libby for like weeks and weeks and weeks, and then it just became available. So I did not anticipate to be able to read this, and I definitely wanted to like listen to the audiobook alongside. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Icebreaker this weekend instead of Ninth House, and then probably just shift back to Ninth House like whenever I'm done with this and need something different, something darker than a romance, you know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. I, I feel like I really could like Ninth House once I grasp just like the overall concept a little better, but I do not want to put myself into a slump, so that's where we're at. I'm going to switch gears to Icebreaker. Okay, it's been a few hours. It's currently 2 p.m., and guys, I did go ahead and pick up Icebreaker. I'm binging this book. I'm already halfway through, so I'm on page 213, chapter 24. I'm eating this up. I'm loving this. This is my first Hannah Grace book, so I'm loving her writing. I'm loving her pacing through this. It's just like a very fun romance. It's not too deep. I feel like we've all seen this book around, but it's following a figure skater and then the captain of the hockey team. They're forced to share a rink, and so they're forced to like interact with each other kind of for the first time while being there, and it's just their romance story. It, it is fun. Like, it is fun. I'm having such a good time. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect going into this. I know a lot of people love it. I know like what tropes people have talked about. So I can just say like I'm pleasantly surprised with how this book is going and I definitely want to finish it maybe even tonight. 
but definitely we'll be finishing it tomorrow with how quickly I'm reading through this. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it so much. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's currently about 7.30. I got up about an hour ago. I got ready and my friend's currently on her way. We're gonna have just like a cute little coffee shop, a work date this morning. And then I don't know what else we plan to do today. That may be it, but the Super Bowl is on this afternoon. So I definitely wanna be home for that. So let's just go ahead and work at a coffee shop. I just got back home. It's currently 2 p.m. So we had such a successful, honestly, like morning and early afternoon but that coffee shop date was like so productive it was a good balance of just like talking with each other while still getting stuff done on our to-do list so i definitely have more that i still need to do today but i accomplished a lot like i feel really good about the hours that we spent there and then oh my gosh i have to tell you guys we went to wall riders like that's the coffee shop that we went to and i had this ube ice matcha that was to die for like to die for i will be back for that alone Holy crap. And then we went and we ran some errands because tomorrow we have our little Valentine's thing that we're doing. And so there's a couple things that we wanted to do tonight. Like I'm going to make some brownies tonight and this little like dip thing tonight. She's going to be making a cake tonight for it. And then there's stuff that we'll do like tomorrow. Like I'm going to do like chocolate cover raspberry stuff. And like I'd rather just do that on the day that we're going to be eating them. So stuff like that. And then I went to Sephora and I picked up my order. Back on my glow screen grind. Loving that. But like I said, it's 2 o'clock, so I still have like an hour and a half until the Super Bowl starts. So I'm just going to eat some food and get myself situated, do a little bit of work. Definitely change into my Chiefs like sweatshirt now. I was going to wear my like Patrick Mahomes jersey, but I think I wore the sweatshirt when they last played. One, I'm superstitious. Two, the sweatshirt is comfortable. So I think that's what I'm going to change into now. And I'll just check in with you guys as I do stuff, but that's kind of the plan right now. Hey guys, happy Monday. The Chiefs did win the Super Bowl last night, but guys, when I tell you, like I was so unwell that whole game, my heart rate and anxiety levels were through the roof the entire time. Like not one moment was I just sitting on my couch, calm, cool, collected, watching the game, enjoying it. Like no, I was so unwell the whole time. So obviously it was a very long game. But I'm very glad that the Chiefs won. I was also able to make the brownies last night. So they chilled. They're ready to go. It's currently 10 a.m. So my friend's picking me up in about an hour. We're going to have our little Galentine's Day. I want to take you guys more along today. I feel like yesterday we had a very, like, work productive errands day so I was just kind of in the mindset of just like doing all of that with her but today I want to kind of include you more on what we're doing so yeah that's where I'm at with like today and the plans I just took like today as PTO instead of trying to readjust the work days I have off I'm like no I have PTO hours like I just want to use them so I'm very glad to just like have today it's such a beautiful day out like blue skies sunshine it's gonna be a great day so that's like today, that's where we're at. And now I wanna give you a reading update. I finished Icebreaker last night. And while I am giving you guys like a reading update, my thoughts, know that I'm not entirely sure what I think of this book. I don't know what rating I wanna give it yet. I'm leaning towards like a four, 4.25. So it'll be a few days before I add this to my Goodreads. But I really enjoyed this book. Like I understand why so many people love it. It's very bingeable. It's just fun, it's fast paced. I loved Hannah Grace's writing. I love that this is going to be like an interconnected standalone series because I adored our main characters so much, but we got so much of the side characters and I'm like, yes, yes, I want more of you guys, Henry, Henry, but then we have our two main characters. Okay, we have Nathan and I'm just going to say Stassi because that's like really what she's called throughout this book, but they are such a fun duo. I, I grew up playing sports. I was very competitive. I would love the idea of just two very competitive, but like understanding people being together because they understand what it takes to be an amazing athlete and they respect the dedication you have to your sport. So I really like that between these two. Like they're very supportive of that. And I just loved the balance of our main characters because she's supposed to be this like grumpy person. He's supposed to be like the golden retriever or whatever. But to me, she wasn't like super grumpy grumpy the whole time. It was more like she's just a dedicated athlete that wants to do her best. Like she needs to do her best. She has goals in life. She wants to achieve them. And I like that they do support each other in that. So that's how I just liked her. I like that she wasn't just totally heartless. She has her moments where you're like, 
Stasi, come on. And then another thing I really liked about this is the talk of therapy. I love that it was very normalized in this. Like, yes, it was definitely a big topic throughout it, but it wasn't in like a very heavy way. It was just like she goes to therapy and she's using the lessons she learns to apply in life. Like she has such strong communication and then she's pushing Nathan to communicate very just like easily and I love that like it's just like the natural influence of someone and I just I adored that part of this so much when I was thinking about it this morning and thinking how like I was kind of confused about the rating and what I didn't love about it what hit me was this is set in college okay so I graduated college just like two three years ago ish and I I had this weird feeling that it felt like too young for me that I couldn't like connect to the romance and be like oh my god this is so great like I loved it that's why it's like at least a four star no matter what like, okay this is like a time that's passed in my life so I didn't find myself connecting as much and obviously when you can't connect to the characters in that type of way and like kind of put yourself in their shoes then I think it does make it harder to rate it as high as like a five star so that's like my initial thoughts on this. I definitely recommend it. Like this was a very fun, very bingeable, very easy. Perfect for like, not like if you're in a reading slump. I mean, sure, maybe. But for me, I was just like, I need a different book than the like fantasy that I've been reading or I was about to jump into a dark academia and I wasn't there for it. This was perfect. Hey guys, good morning, happy Wednesday, happy Valentine's Day. Obviously I did not film at all yesterday, and when I get back home we can do a little recap of Monday and Tuesday, but I wanna go ahead and get out the door. So today's Wednesday, it's my day off, and I just have like a bunch of fun little tasks that I wanna get done today. I want to write reviews on all the books that I've read so far this month. I also need to finish editing my reading vlog for Powerless. I want that to go up on Friday. So I've edited a lot of it, I just need to do all the final stuff, and this just is so fun to me. So I wanna go do it at a coffee shop, and I've been been dying to try the like strawberry chocolate frappuccino thing that Starbucks came out with and my best friend sent me a little like Galentine's Starbucks gift card this morning which was so sweet so like okay okay I guess that's where we're going I get my wi-fi I get to do all my little fun things I get to get out of the house it's such blue skies right now so let's go ahead and get out the door I just got back home and I'm swapping my bags. We need to head to the library because I have a hole to pick up and one book to return. So I'm just like jamming to music hardcore right now, which is amazing. Let's go. back home I feel like my hair is not herring but that's okay um after the library I stopped by Target because I had like a list I try to keep an like ongoing list on my phone of things I need to get from the store so that way when I go I don't forget but I got some stuff I got stuff to make like my steak bowls they're literally my favorite and I definitely need groceries so bad so got another pack of little what are these like Petite sirloin steak. They're literally perfect. I did go ahead and add an avocado this time. Like, fancy. I usually like to do it, but I never think to go grab it. 
And then I am craving strawberries, so I got strawberries. I got some turkey bacon because I have these like red velvet pancake things that I'm actually thinking of making tonight for dinner, like a breakfast for dinner situation because they are like Valentine's Day themed and I feel like that could be so cute. I forgot about them because I actually planned in my head, I was like, oh, I should make them for like Valentine's like day breakfast because I was off and I'll like have a chill morning or my head. My brain had other plans. Other plans. Got a line for that. I did get, oh my god, guys, these are like the best. These little like pimple patch things. Love them. I have been like trying to find, I thought I had some left. I didn't. I've scoured everywhere in my bathroom. So, and then I just got some more milk and some more cookies. These, these are literally the best. Like, literally the best. So yeah, I just got a few things to like tie me over. For the remainder of this week because I already like have other stuff here so this will just help me with a few more meals okay hi guys I feel like I just need to like we need to sit down right I'm back home we need an update of the last couple days I just made my first matcha in like a very long time but can we take a moment for this cup it says in my bookish era and it has all these little like stickers and stuff on it as well my friend got it for me for galentine's and hold on i have the shop that she got it from like she got it from one of those like makers like market things up in la but this is from bona fide bookworm so definitely definitely check them out like i followed them on instagram immediately i hadn't heard of them until she got me this cup and i was like no where did you get it and can i get more so perfect I'm a little out of practice and it's been like so rare that I've just had matcha. I usually have like a chai matcha or I tried this like ube matcha that literally I can't get out of my head but this is good and it's really cute. So okay let's let's recap. Okay so I think the last time we really talked was Monday morning. I'd gotten ready for the day and I was like my friend's on her way. We're gonna have this whole Galentine's day today. I want to make the effort to get more footage for you guys. Take you along with us for the day. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah well I think I did get a few clips on my camera and then definitely more on my phone to kind of throw in here to represent what the day was like but I feel like we were just so present in the moment and being girls and just talking and it was so fun and just genuine. I don't know how to explain it but it wasn't just like us hanging out and so it kind of felt right to you know like take out a camera. We were just like so in the moment and talking with each other that like a camera was not in my mind like did we take a lot of cute photos yes absolutely but was it like let's take out the camera to vlog moments not really so I definitely want to take you guys along like with us more because I feel like we'll be just doing more coffee dates and adventures in the future and I'll just kind of feel more like right I guess to vlog those times but it was so Fun. So our first stop of the day was at Coffee Dose and they have multiple locations so we did the one that was like Coffee Dose like coffee in a box or something. It was like in the middle of this business district but like you saw it. It was so cute and then they have like just other places around with the same vibes but different aesthetics. It's just such a fun place and so I had been dying to go and we chose that location and she was like, yeah, no, you have to try the like orange dreamsicle one, which guys, I love orange dreamsicles and I love orange Julius's from Dairy Queen. Like, I was, I like that because I don't generally go for like coffee coffee, but it was a orange dreamsicle like latte coffee thing and I liked it. It was just fun. So we sat there for like hours talking, taking cute pictures. They had this burrito thing that was so, so good as well. Oh my God. And then when we wrapped up there, we headed back to her place and we were doing like our main like Galentine's evening thing there and the concept that we had like we literally had a Pinterest board and we were like talking about like what we wanted for it but we wanted to do this like tablescape and like just set up a cute little backdrop sort of thing just like set the vibes right so um like we had like a cake and we were making um dipped like chocolate dipped raspberries I made this strawberry with like strawberry dip thing that's literally to die for it's so good so simple 
And then we just like had random like decor pieces. Like obviously you guys have seen um, like pictures and videos at this point, but it was just so fun. Like it was so fun to just do something like that. Obviously that's very extra. If we wanted to just like have a little Valentine's Day get together and like go out to dinner, like okay, cool, we could have done that. But this was just something we chose to do. I was like, oh, this would be so fun to like just get creative. And I feel like we did that. It was so fun. But I did not get home until like midnight. And I don't normally do that, right? I'm so tired. So we spent like quite a lot of time together on Sunday and then like pretty much the entire day together on Monday. And my introverted self at that point, by the time I was like getting home Monday night, I was like, girl, you've been like out of your house so much. Are you good? Like I was so tired by the time I got home. So I like knocked out after doing some work stuff. Like that sucked, but I knocked out and it was just so nice. I slept hard, but I had to like get up and go to my office yesterday, Tuesday, but I felt dead to the world. Like I felt so dead to the world. Introverted self, energy drained, needed time to recover. So I could sleep in a little bit for work, but I um, ended up going to my office for like most of the afternoon. And then when I came home, I was just like, I think I'm just tired and I just want to rot on my couch and there's a lot of like YouTube videos that have been out that I haven't been able to watch the last couple days. So I just want to do that. It's like I didn't pick up a book. I had no energy to do that at all. It was just so nice. It was so needed. And I was like, there's no need for you to pick up the camera today just to say like, hi, I'm not doing anything today. See you tomorrow. So I was like, girl, just, just don't think about filming today and just rest. So I did and I woke up today so like rejuvenated I slept hard last night as well and I just woke up in like such a good mood like it was so good I felt like I woke up today kind of like ready to tackle the day and just in this like refreshed mindset in a way because last night I did like my company has annual reviews but also semi-annual reviews and it's a way for us to like have a midpoint check-in and I did my self eval yesterday kind of ours works like you do a self eval your like supervisor manager person does an evaluation of you and then you meet up together and like do that and so it was just like I did kind of my part yesterday and I was definitely like having some stuff I like challenges and things that I needed to like address and talk about and brainstorm solutions for and it just felt nice to like get that out on paper so to speak and just have all of those thoughts in my head and I had never thought to make a list of all the job things I do like all the little tasks that like add up to be quite a lot and makes a lot of lives easier outside of my own so I went ahead and did that last night for it as well and that just felt so good again there's like so much stuff that just got out of my head and on paper and obviously a lot of thoughts and emotions that I had in my head of like challenges I was having I'm like okay now things are like out there in a neat and organized way and now we can like try to formulate solutions to make things like easier and better and helpful for everyone so it just felt good I just woke up today then feeling good I can't believe it's only 2.30. I feel like it could be totally later than that. So then we have this morning when I woke up like, you know, alive again. And I was like, I just kind of want, I don't want to work today. Like, I mean, I have to do something tonight. But I was like, my daytime, I was like, I don't want to bust out my computer and check stuff. I want to have minimal, like, contact with stuff. I have some just fun stuff I want to do. So it's like, I say fun stuff because it's fun to me, but it's like I've read a few books this month so far and I was like, I haven't done any of my reviews and I've been so good about doing good read, like reviews and actually putting the thoughts out there instead of just being like, here's a rating and then only talking about it in a video. So I wanted to do that for the books I've read and that was just going to take time to do. And then... I wanted to work on the powerless reading vlog so I still haven't done that yet that's like my next thing but I spent a lot of time um, at Starbucks oh my gosh that drink guys that drink was stupid good it was like it did not have to pop off like that I haven't had a frappuccino in so long that's like a high school thing for me I had like a caribou coffee I think um, that was like mainly my kick for it like that was closest to me and I just remember having that so much in high school, specifically like freshman year, freshman and sophomore year. That was insane. But it was the first time in a long time. But that chocolate strawberry situation had no right, had no right to be that good. 
it was great okay so then i did my journaling so this is my archer and olive journal i love it it's just massive and i can just write whatever so it's like geez, i'm not gonna obviously get up close but i'm gonna pull out whatever today um so usually if you see like breaks that's because that's like the end and i like skip a line or two to go to the next day so you can literally see like that's a long one that's kind of a long one it went into that but then like i'll have days where it's just like a few lines because i want to get in the habit of doing this every day and anytime like i find myself not doing it because i think i'm just so tired at night i didn't do it in the morning whatever then i find myself just not doing it but i'm like no like just write a few lines just say like hey i'm tired but i had an amazing day today like just get in the habit of doing it so that is where I'm at with that. And then I did this little bit today. It just felt so good to do it for myself and have energy for like that self-care side that I know it makes my brain feel so good. It's ridiculous how much I'm on my phone. I seriously set a 30 minute like limit for myself on Instagram every day. But if I post that day, I try to like just deactivate the limit for the day because I want to be more interactive. So if people are commenting on the photo or they're like swiping up for a DM, or they're reposting on their story like I want to be more interactive with that and like be responding so I struggle I struggle and so then I just sat here on my phone for too long okay my next read I wanted to be Vow of Thieves and I chose Vow of Thieves because I had the Libio Libio the Libby audio book Anyways, um, and I just saw though that it's due in three days, which makes me nervous. Now, granted, I didn't want to spend three days reading it, but it's just something about having that limit of the audiobook scares me. So either way, I think I want to read it. What I was debating on was whether or not I wanted to include it in my um, first episode of the finishing series. I'm in the middle of video because there's going to be finishing Akatar and then this as that first episode. But then I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to like think about filming while reading this this could be my like non-video book if you will but then it hit me I love I've talked about this once before but I love Olivia Reed's Alate's videos because she has like a weekly reading vlog and then she'll have this like secondary video like whatever that is and sometimes they are like book challenges or themed in some way videos <laughs> um, but if it is for example a like swap my screen time with reading video then she will focus that video really about like if she's accomplishing that goal or not and not necessarily deep diving into her thoughts and opinion of the book that she's reading and then she'll save that whole part for the weekly reading vlog and I kind of like that I think it would make me read more books if I did that and I, if I didn't have to think about like filming me reading it filming me giving my opinion so often versus this like I read it I show you guys occasionally when I'm actually reading but other than that like I just pop in and give you updates as I read and I just I think that's more chill and I think I want to do that for the rest of filming for that video so that's what I want to do here I want to be reading this but then also because I want to finish this duology guys it's ridiculous I literally loved the first book so much I gave it like 4.75 stars so the fact that I haven't picked that up yet upsets me. And then I'm also, this book is getting finished by Sunday night. Like, I this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I have been stopping myself from reading this because it's that blocker of having to film for it. Obviously, it's a big book, so it's also a little intimidating there. But mainly, it's the idea of, like, I have to sit and film. Um... So that's where I also want to switch gears because I've only done like dedicated videos where when I think about reading this, I think I need to film it of like my curse for true love or the powerless where like I'm really diving deep into like filming myself reading and like at various points in the book stopping and talking about it. But I need to get out of that. I think I really just want to focus on the challenge of like I'm finishing series I'm in the middle of and then I can spend the weekly reading vlog talking more about them and the obviously like reading wrap ups at the end of the month. So I'm gonna switch gears on filming for that and I think like that's gonna help me finish this book, finish that video and get through this series. Cause I'm also annotating, that's another part. I can't just pick it up and read it. But well, it just takes more, okay? It takes more. So that's where I'm at. And the Libby um, thing was expiring in one day, my audiobook, And I was like, 
crap, but then I found where another library I have a card for had it available. So I was like, okay, no, we're good. So I'm going to continue reading that, but that's being finished in this video. Then I went to the library after the coffee shop and I picked up my hold, which was Sanctuary of the Shadow. Look at my library's cover. Look at their version. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize they would have that. So that's amazing. This came out recently. I think it was last month maybe. And I remember putting a hold on it like as soon as it was available for me to do so. This is not that long of a book. And the font is massive. Yeah. Amazing. So I think this will be one of my like non-video books. And I'll just try to read it this month because it sounds so good. Literally came out the 24th. Wow. Only a couple weeks ago. Okay. So yeah, that is my one library hold. I would have totally gone to get more. Like let's just be honest. But I was like, no, really focus on your TBR this month because I really want to do my best to accomplish as much of it as I can. So today's Wednesday. Obviously, I have off work, I said, and I'm going to do a little, I'm going to finish my powerless video. I think that's my, my priority. And then I'll probably start Foul of Thieves tonight. And then I have work all day tomorrow, but then Friday I have off. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's just the work I have to do is just different okay it's just like a different vibe so between like now and the end of sunday i want valve thieves finished and aqua war finished let's do it hey guys happy friday i feel like this weekly reading vlog is a little different than my previous ones i don't know how much you guys notice this but i usually force myself to at least film one clip every single day and that's really just like a mental thing even if that one clip is not gonna be like useful and relevant in any way like I have no reading update I'm not going to be starting a new book I just want to check a box in my head that I like I filmed every day so I feel like this week when I've had really long days at work and I'm just exhausted and I just want to like rot on the couch or I just have to like do a little bit of computer work at night I don't want to force myself to film because why like there's nothing relevant there so I'm like just take the day to not film because if I had to bust out a camera, it's a mental thing. Like, it's, oh, I have to be film ready. Even if I'm literally sitting like this in sweats and a hoodie, um, but it's just like a mental switch. So I'm like, girl, just don't bust out the camera. You're fine. It's a weekly reading vlog. You have several more days that you're filming. So I feel better, honestly, about like a work-life YouTube balance this week. Um, so happy Friday. It is currently 9.30 a.m. I had a very slow morning, which was amazing. I basically woke up. I was checking my phone on Teams because I wanted to make sure none of my like coworkers and stuff needed anything from me because I'm off today. So I was like, okay, I just want to like check if overnight space was calm, cool, collected. No activity happened that I need to be like online today. And I feel like I answered everything through my phone and I don't have to, you know, be actually working today, which is amazing. I love that. And then I wanted to make sure all my Powerless Reading Vlog stuff went live. So it went live at 9 a.m. It was scheduled to go live, but I also wanted to like post my little disclaimer that I included in the video. I wanted to post that like in my community tab section on YouTube along with my Instagram story when I was posting like the link to the video because here's the thing. Okay, to me, the video is spoiler free, but if you wanted to go in like as blind as I did like I knew nothing about this book other than fantasy romance when I went into it like I love that experience so I wanted to like I just wanted people to know like I wasn't gonna be so incredibly vague in the video to where they just be like wow she could be literally talking about any book I guess like I wanted to give a little more but everything I talked about that wasn't written on the back to me didn't take away from like the first time reader experience or like anything like any spoiler for like the major plot lines it was just like okay this is how I'm feeling about these two characters and this is how they are described to us like not like describing but it's like they're described as being thoughtful okay and then I would describe this very tiny scene that happened it's like irrelevant to any plot line but I'm like yeah like this little moment happened and he was thinking this and I just realized how much that showed how he cared about you know his surroundings and his awareness and so if you didn't even want that though then I wanted you to know going in so I don't know if that made sense 
but I tried to even when I was editing like take away more that I said that I was like oh that could be more of a spoiler like that's just like, too much so I don't know I, I tried my best to edit out anything I thought could be too spoiler-y but still allow you to enjoy the reading vlog if you haven't read it yet it's hard guys it's hard I want the reading vlogs to be useful but like not I like them spoiler free so life was just really hard and I, just, I wanted people to know that going into the video so I made sure all that was live and then I just got ready and by got ready I mean I changed out of the sweatpants I wore to bed into a different pair of sweatpants and a hoodie and I want to go to Starbucks and I would do some work today I do have a call with one of my coworkers, so I am trying to figure out if I'm supposed to be doing that now or if they wanted to do it later I don't know but I just want to hang out have a good time I have a like the fun to do list I talked about I think I don't know when I last talked about this maybe on Sunday or Monday um, but it's a long list of like I have a sponsorship coming up like I, I wouldn't say it's a dream sponsorship because I didn't really think about brands that I wanted to sponsor with or like have a sponsor partnership whatever collaboration with but this is one that I'm like no like I, is this spam I'm gonna cry if this is spam because I love this company like I like use this company all the time so I'm like I was freaking out so I do I'm getting a call from my coworker. okay okay I just got off that work call the only thing I was trying to say at the end was I just have a list of some fun stuff in my opinion like I want to be updating my notion today I want to update that stuff on the sponsorship I want to figure out what packages I have coming because I'm like a part of like a FedEx, USPS, like subscription thing that they alert me when I have packages coming. And so obviously if I order something, like I'm aware of that. But I feel like there was a couple things on there that I was like, wait, what is that for? Um, so just like random things like that that I want to go do. So I'm going to go head to Starbucks to do it because I still have gift cards and I'm trying to not spend money where I don't need to. So if I have a gift card to a certain coffee shop, we're going there. So I want to pack my bag and we're going to head out. I just got back home. I was able to mark off a lot of my to-do list, so I feel really good about that. But guys, I checked my mail. I have a package. A package that I do not know what it is. My address is literally on the front, but it's from Bloomsbury. Like, I want to have a raw reaction of, like, first impressions. So, I want to open this up with you guys. Like, I have... I can't remember. I feel like maybe there's something that pops into my head. Okay. Oh my god. Oh yeah! On their like Instagram thing, they did one of those giveaways where it's like a fantasy box or a romance box or something like that. Like there's multiple themed boxes and I was like beep boop bop like hello hi I'm wanting to enter for the fantasy one and I won. So that's what this is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Whoops. I'm like so not okay. <gasps> Annotation supplies and this is so smart. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's two of each color. And I really struggle with just having one tab of each color and then I run out. A tote bag. We we love a tote bag. Yes, absolutely necessary. <laughs> These are so cool. Like there's such pretty covers. So the first one is Quantum Radio. Okay, I love that. Um, I'm gonna read the back like here in a minute. I don't remember what these are about. And then the other one is Sons of Darkness. And this is what that one looks like. Like that is crazy to me. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so they're both fantasy, I knew that one. It says, like, I'm just going to read, like, the top white part of it at CERN, which CERN is, um, like, capital C-E-R-N. It's an acronym for place 
physics and stuff. Um, a scientist has just made an incredible discovery, a breakthrough that may answer the deepest questions about human existence, but what he's found is far more dangerous than he ever imagined. This is going to be so amazing because of the job I'm in. Like, I went to school for astrophysics. I loved black holes. Like, that was my entire world. And now I'm an orbit analyst working in the space industry. Like, <laughs> that's... I'm excited for this one. Okay, and then this one seems like way more up the normal fantasy that I usually read. So it says Sons of Darkness. <gasps> Did that have anything? I don't think so, but these has this has like a sticker and a bookmark. Love. Love. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read like this rather than the inside says, the sun will set, the world will kneel, the stars will bleed, as the shadows dance to a prophecy long foretold, a tale of war and ruin, a ballad inked in blood. Okay, so have you read, wait, have these come out yet? <laughs> I'm like out here like. Okay, so press release coming 2024, introducing Head of Zeus to Bloomsbury US. We are excited to introduce the British independent publisher, Head of, U Head of Zeus, now part of Bloomsbury Publishing USA. Launched in 2012, Head of Zeus, um, which publishes a range of genres across six imprints, will be a strong addition to our ever-growing company. These imprints include Ad Astra for speculative fiction and fantasy, Aria for romance, comedy, and saga, Ares for, oh my god, this is so cool, um, sorry, for adventure and crime fiction, Apollo for literary fiction and narrative nonfiction, and Zephyr for children's books. So I think these are just recently published, maybe? Sorry, I'm all over the place obviously what a fun like way to end my week because it's friday it's been a very long week and to have book mail that i totally like forgot about i had no idea like that over my head i was like literally what is this package like this was what was sent in my usps that was like hey you have a package coming today and i'm like who is this from what did i order that i forgot so this is just so exciting Okay, so I'm going to go add these to my Notion page of my, like, physical TBR, and overall, I was able to accomplish a lot of my to-do list. Like I mentioned, I updated a lot of my Notion, so I was updating, like, my current reads, what I finished, um, adding a couple books to my ebook, um, like, ebook library, if you will. I got two new books that were gifted to me. One's technically an ARC. It comes out on the 20th of February, so I'm filming this. Today's date's the 16th. You'll see after the 20th, so it's already come out. But it's Late Night Love by Shayla Wolfberg. I think it's Shayla, not Chayla. It's C-H-A-Y-L-A. -A. Um, it's literally like SNL coded, Saturday Night Live coded. Um, and like enemies to lovers, workplace romance. Like, yes. Yeah, so she reached out to me. Oh my god, focus. Um, she reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to read it. I was like, oh my god, that sounds so fun. And then the other one is by Liz Kamen. Sorry, the font's small for my eyes. Um, and it's Sparks and Scars, the power plays. Huh, the power plays, Sparks and Scars. Um, but it's a romance as well. And she described, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's about. But she described it and I was like, you know, that sounds interesting. I want to read that. So these are two like different types of romances that I have the ebooks for. So I added that to my Notion page. And then I updated my Notion page for the sponsorship that's coming up. It's just like going through the brief that they sent. This is the second like company that I've worked with that like it's more of like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's more than just, hey, you know, we want to send you this product and we want you to talk about it if you like it. So I think a lot of the bigger brands and well-established companies just have a structure. They have a social media team and a structure for sponsorships and stuff. So this is my second time doing that. Like I worked with Pear Eyewear, which was literally insane that they reached out to me to begin with. And then that's how I feel about this other company. But like this company, I already have stuff of theirs. And then I can get to work with them. Like Pear Eyewear, I was always interested in them. And I was like, oh, this is such a cool concept. I've been like wanting to try like pair eyewear and then they reached out and I'm like oh my god this is great this is amazing and so it's just like a different vibe but for this other one it's like okay there's like you know requirements and I want to make sure I do that and I want to think about how I want to embed it in such a like authentic way you know like I don't want to be like and now let's jump to our sponsor like I don't know I just want to think about it so I was trying to do that as well 
Um, and then I don't know, oh, I made a cute background. I'm gonna post it in here because I feel like I need to share it with the world. But I made my vision board and I wanted a way for me to like really always see it. So I do have it up on my wall, which is great. So I took a picture of it and then I wanted to like doodle around it. And so I doodled around it and now it's my wallpaper for my phone. So it made me feel good. Now I'm going to just take a minute to like decompress. I've got home, I got this amazing book mail. I'm gonna update my Notion page for that and figure out my next step. I wanna start Val of Thieves. Okay, here's my new plan. I wanna finish 50% of it today, 50% of it tomorrow. That's, that's my goal, like the minimums. I'm reading 50% of it today no matter what. I have the energy for it today, so it feels really good. And I don't have other tasks that will take away from it. Okay, that's my very long update. I feel like I'm back to vlogging. <laughs> okay, this lighting is so crazy, but I feel like the shadows will be weird. So we're holding the camera up here. It's currently almost 6 o'clock. Wow, okay. That's great. Um, I grabbed a little snack. I've literally been chilling for a very long time, for several hours. I've been watching a lot of YouTube and it's felt so nice to just relax. I was like, okay, Jay-Z, you said you wanted to read. And like, I do, but at the same time, like I'm not in a reading slump. It's just, there's so many things that I wanna do. So that's where I'm at. But I think to get myself into like a good reading thing where I can still watch YouTube, I'm actually putting on Mel Reed's reading sprints. She did like her once a quarter public like 24 hour readathon like she does 24 hour readathons or 48 hour readathons with her patreons but um like every month but she does an occasional one where she like does her sprints recorded on youtube so um i just threw that on it's a nearly a five hour video so she just like goes in between talking and then 45 minute kind of sprints if you will see this is the type of thing i would be so curious if i would end up doing i've talked about doing patreon stuff um, at some point, maybe I, like by the end of this year, I would start one, but I'm curious to know like me, like would I ever do reading sprints? That's so weird to think about. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to do this and I feel like then it'll kind of get me into like being a part of this and then reading when she's reading, eating some snacks, talking with her, you know, I feel like it'll be fun. Okay. It's much later now. I think it's like 10 PM. I had saved two reading sprint videos from Mel and I finished one of them. So it says it's like four hours and 45 minutes, but I know I skipped through certain parts because she would like talk for a while at the beginning and between sprints. And she just did like these three hour long sprints though. And I took part in all of that. So I got through 60% of Vow of Thieves and I feel so good about that. It's definitely been enjoyable. Um, like, I'm intrigued through all this, but I'm not obsessing over it, but, like, I definitely like it. I gave the first book 4.75 stars, and I think this one is leaning towards, like, a 4.25, maybe 4.5. We'll have to see. I don't know. Like, it's good. Like, there's not much I can think to, like, critique, but part of ratings are, like, you know like emotion based so I'm definitely liking this don't get me wrong um I just don't really remember how I felt throughout book one either so we'll have to see how the last 40 percent of this wraps up oh my gosh <sighs> but I'm definitely tired and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed I don't know if I'll read any more tonight or I'll just try to maybe read this like first thing in the morning we'll see Okay, is this, I feel like that's a fine angle. So I have updates. First of all, I woke up this morning, I showered, didn't brush my hair, we're not gonna talk about it. Um, but my skin like was having a full panic attack. I don't know what it was. Like I woke up and I had like a few pimples or whatever, but after I showered, like I like, had all these red dots and I'm like, this, okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna read all day and hopefully it goes away and I'll feel comfortable updating a camera later. So here we are later. It's currently four o'clock and I did finish Val Thieves this morning. Well, I mean, I think I finished it around noon, whatever. Oh my gosh. First of all, can we talk about how like floppy this book is? I love that. Um, I think I want to give this, so I gave book one 4.75 stars. Like, I mean, beginning to end obsessed. This I was like less obsessed with, but like, I still really liked it. Like, I think I want to give it a 4.25. Is that too, like, picky of me? 
but I, like I was thinking about 4.5 and I was like that's really close to 4.75 and I feel like you weren't that close to where you were at before but I still really liked a lot of this and a lot of the closure so it's just a duology so I think 4.25 is a good fitting spot for me I mean I really enjoy it like I really 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 recommend this duology first of all you get to start something and finish it in only two books don't be me don't be me where you start a million series and then are forced to film the other videos like finishing series I'm in the middle of because here we are. This is the other book that I've been reading all afternoon for like the last two hours or so. I have read up to page 200 so mathing. I've read like 160 pages essentially so far and I have a goal of reaching the halfway point which is about 350. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I just updated that video and been like, hi, haven't filmed for this in like weeks but here we are, here's my update. So that was fun. <laughs> um, I think I do want to kind of maybe talk more about it in this video and then really focus on like the fact that I'm just finishing a series in the other video. So I don't remember like if I even touched on this any in any of my weekly reading vlogs, but I'm definitely liking this. I'm not obsessing over it like I was throughout pretty much the entire book two, like book two I gave five stars. This at this point would be like at the like in the fours. Like four, four point two, five, four and a half, like somewhere in there. Um but like I, I'm liking it. So obviously like that type of rating would still be really good. I'm just like not obsessing. And I think in this book I'm definitely going to gain a lot more from all the other characters involved. So I'm looking forward to that because I do know certain stuff that ends up happening. And so I think I'm at a point where I can start to understand like how that's going to happen. Um, and then obviously like the main like political plot line of stuff going on. Like I can now like follow that and see that through. Um, I mentioned it in the other video, but I was like, I hadn't read book two in so long that I had to like go back and rewatch like a summary video so that I could jump into this. Because right now I'm just getting a lot of like, like the sisters and stuff and Feyre and Tamlin and Resand and Lucian and the inner circle, like all of our characters that we've been introduced to between books one and two. And now you're just getting like a whole different side of them. So I like it. I'm not obsessing, but I'm definitely liking this. Get this. So first of all, I'm busting out my second energy drink. Well, not like second today. <laughs> well, but I bought two Alani's, I don't know, last week or something. And I drank the last one at some point, I think in this video. So I'm finally drinking the second. This is the first drink. I miss these. I love energy drinks. I know they're not healthy for you. I just don't feel the effects of them. I'd be so curious to know like how I'd be maybe if I had two. Cause just drinking like one Alani, nothing. Like absolutely nothing. I just like the taste. And then I went and I heated up, like I was trying to warm up my pecans. Like these are like kind of candied pecans. That I got from Trader Joe's. I think I burned some of them. <laughs> I heated them up too long. So I'm kind of smelling this like aftertaste of burntness. I don't love that. So I think I need to light my candle of marshmallow fireside. So that's kind of funny. Um, but I'm turning on another sprints video from Mel Reads. So I watched one yesterday and then I'm going to watch this one today. And I'm going to get to the halfway point. So I think that will carry me to this halfway point And then... I don't know what else I'll do today. I do kind of want to start editing this video, but I just don't know if I really want to do that or today. Maybe just chill out. Read what I want. Watch some YouTube. Not work. Well, I mean, not do extra stuff because I did have to do a little bit of work work today, like for my normal job. So I've been doing that throughout the day, but I'm talking about like work as in like YouTube stuff and chores around the house type of thing. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. I'm having a good day, can you tell? Like, besides my skin, like, literally having a heart attack this morning. Like, I don't know what that was about. But overall, like, it's been so fun to just sit on the couch and read.
Okay, I'm gonna make some dinner right now. I got to the 50% mark of Aquawar and I feel one, so accomplished, but two, like I'm like, wow, it's only seven o'clock. So I don't know if I just wanna watch YouTube for the rest of the night or if I end up picking back up that book, but I'm just feeling accomplished because I set out what I wanted to do today. I wanted to like finish Vow of Thieves and then I wanted to get the 50% mark of Aquawar. I'm like, I did it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my um steak bowl and so i haven't had it in a while and i'm just proud of myself honestly for cooking because i haven't had the best habits with that so i desperately need to clean other pans but i'm just gonna focus on cooking and i'll deal with the cleaning after i feel like this is gonna be slanted Oh, hey, okay, that's not bad. So I went ahead and had dinner and then i made a couple cookies that i could eat as a dessert while i watch I can't read her name because I need my glasses, but it's someone just updating their reading journal and setting up their February spreads and stuff, and I love these videos. I find them so relaxing and motivational because I think I have some stuff that I need to update in my February spreads at this point, so I may do that tonight. And then I had considered reading more of Akawar, which I mean, I still might when I go to bed, but instead of doing that now, I actually want to continue to prep for my Evergreen and Defy the Night trilogy spreads I wanted to do in my reading journal. I have all the photos out that I like are saved that I want to use, but I need to print them out. So in order to print them out, what I do is like I put the photos in Canva and I create the Canva like layout to be the same size as whatever I'm going to be using. So in this case, I put it to the size of the reading journal and that way I can kind of make those different pictures the size that they need. If I blindly print them out, like <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. So um, that's what I think I want to do tonight after I eat this and then I'm watching her video. It'll be so good. It'll be perfect. That's my plan for the evening. I doubt I'll talk with you again tonight and I'll just see you tomorrow. Okay, I just had to document this. Hello, hi, good morning. It is Sunday, but my skin, I have no pimples. Like, I naturally have, like, what is it, like, rosa rosacea? Ro yeah, but I, like, all the, like, little pimples that were popping up yesterday, gone. This is why my skin, like, I don't, I can't keep up with her. I can't do it because I'll have... 10 little pimples one morning and then literally clear skin the next but check in with me in like two hours and I'll have like three little like clogged pores and I'm like cool um I also will say I was on a reading kick last night as well so I ended up getting to chapter 57 page 524 I only have two hours I think probably left of reading for this book which is just insane to me like insane. I was just in very much a reading mood last night and I had a live stream that Gavin, I think, what, his name's Gavin. He recently changed his channel name. I think it's Gavin Reads It All or something like that. I used to be like how to train your Gavin, but um, he did like a sprints live stream and I saved it as my watch later. So I had that on and then I just saw, I was like, oh my god, you're joking, um, that Mel Reads had post, like had done another stream, I guess, later on after she did other sprints. Because she, she did her, like, once a quarter, 24-hour readathon, like, public sprints, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So that's where I saved those original sprint videos from. But then I saw, like, she had, like, a six-and-a-half-hour one, and I was like what so i was like let me do that one and then i saw gavin's i was like okay well let me just put on gavin's because his was also like six and a half hours so i didn't watch those like the whole thing i just like having it on focus come on focus i just like having it on because it's just a way for me to like okay your sprints you know like your sprinting reading so this was fun to just kind of keep me focused and i will definitely be finishing this today i'm gonna go ahead and kind of get ready for the day i'm thinking about going somewhere but it's been very like cloudy. It did rain overnight, so I just don't know if that's smart to do. We'll see. But I think I just want to get ready, maybe, and like go somewhere, like to do work, cause I have to work today. So I just want to like, you know, it makes sense to me. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and we'll figure out that game plan. But I was just like so happy when I looked in the mirror, like in my bedroom. I was like, okay, your hair is one thing, your outfit's one thing, but your skin is skinning. Okay.
<laughs> I'll talk with you later. Okay, hi. I'm back. I don't know how to explain this. I feel like the girlies that are like hypersensitive to like feel and like physical touch and stuff will get it. But I was sitting outside like at a coffee shop working and I was very uncomfortable. Like I couldn't get comfortable because it was just like enough of a chill that I was like, okay, I'm cold and I don't have the proper stuff. Like I wore leggings and a very light hoodie. So I was like, I'm not comfortable. So now I'm at the end, like I'm getting bothered by that. And now I just want to get home. So I'm like walking home as fast as I can. And when I stepped in the door, I was like, I need like everything off my body. Like I have like leggings on. I need the tight compression off. I have this sweatshirt on. It's not fitting like loose and comfortable. It's too like small in some way. Like I need it off. I, I hate this. I had a long sleeve like tight shirt under. I'm like off. Get it off. I had a bra. Uh-uh. I mean nothing and so then I was like freezing but also hated all the compression I was feeling and so I was just like so like overstimulated I was like I need sweatpants I need fuzzy socks because I'm freezing and I need a hoodie that's gonna bring me comfort but also warmth and this is it I love this one <laughs> and my sweatpants and my fuzzy socks like it was just such a crazy experience I, the girlies get it like I know that I've like, I'm friends with people like this, like, where all of a sudden you're just like, oh my god, like, I'm sorry, I snapped at you, my necklace was feeling weird. You know what I mean? Like, I hate it. <laughs> but I feel better now. Like, so much better. So I did not get the luxury experience at a coffee shop that I wanted. I was able to do the work stuff I needed to do, like, for my job. But now I'm back home, and I just want to read and not have a mental breakdown. That's my, that's my day so far. Okay, guys. Wow, this hair. It's a choice, but I needed it off my neck. You remember that, like, sensory overload I was feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways. I finished Aquamore. Oh, my God. Guys, the last, like, 50% of this, once I hit that point, that, like, I think it was a little after the 50% mark, and I was like, it got so good so fast. Seriously, from that point on, I was definitely obsessing a lot more. I'm giving this book four and a half stars because, ultimately, like, the first 50%, it wasn't slow to me. Like, I don't want it to seem like that. I was just, like, enjoying what I was reading, but not, like, obsessing like I was with every page of the second book. So that's just, like, the difference I felt in this one. And maybe it was because I, would like, I'd taken a break from this world. But holy crap. From the 50% mark on, like, it... <sighs> It was crazy. It was crazy. So much happened. I was dying at like every page. I cried several times throughout the last probably 100, 150 pages. Okay, I only like shed tears twice. If I got emotional a couple times, I was definitely just like, God. <laughs> so this was so good. The conclusion of this was also well. I think that I, I don't know if I've talked about this much in videos, but I do like it when I'm reading a series and a book concludes that like kind of gives me that closure feeling but I know that the story is going to continue and I know that like I'm looking forward to it. It's not like this complete cliffhanger where I'm just upset that I have to dive into another book immediately. Like I like having the option to just like sit with it for a minute, accept that this book like was what it was and like appreciate it, give it its love and attention and like have it be its story does that make sense like that's how I felt about this like I really appreciated the ending of this and I definitely plan to pick up a quart of frost and starlight next I do not want to give myself a break from this series I don't want to risk picking up another book and then just taking me longer to get to this so this is going to be my next pick up a read it's only like 2 30 or something like that so I don't know if I'll finish that book today I just don't know what else I want to do but I definitely want to pick that up today and get started on it. I was thinking and I realized I've been filming for this weekly reading vlog for like nine days because I like started it on a random Friday instead of just like ending it last Friday. I was like let's just keep it going for the weekend. So um, I want to go ahead and end this video here and that way I know it's like the weekly reading weekly reading vlog is concluded and I'm going to start my next one tomorrow. This was a long weird one. It was a long weird one but I feel like we accomplished a lot and I'm just kind of feeling good to like be in a mental space again to want to read so much and I just had such a busy like 
week or so that I wasn't reading. Like, I keep a page tracker, and I think in a week's time, I only read for, like, one or two days. And I read a lot in those one to two days, but I want to make it more consistent. So I just feel good in the mental space I'm in to, like, have reading be more consistent in the next week or so and just kind of embed it back into my life and get off my freaking phone at night. Oh, my God. I literally put up a poll on my community tab. I feel free to um, vote on it. There we go. I was, like, typing. Um, vote on it because I, it's not this upcoming week that I'll do whichever one wins, but it's the next one, so you'll see this video before that. Um, but I posted, I'm like, I'm really itching for a reading challenge, and so I wanted to know if you guys wanted to see a 200 pages a day challenge or swapping my screen time with reading. And, I mean, the swapping your screen time video thing, whatever, that one's winning, and I feel like that makes the most sense because it's literally embar like embarrassing how much I'm on my phone for what. So, I think I want to do that one. I'm hoping that one wins. But we'll see. This was fun. I had fun. I hope you had fun. I hope you just like got in the reading vibes, spirits, all that reading stuff. I love how this week ended. I'm very much looking forward to the next week and just like how this month concludes. I'm feeling very motivated with reading and the videos and all of that right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.